All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. And as you all know, we had a huge cryptocurrency dump and everyone is running and putting their McDonald's hat on and ready to get back to work. Now, there is no need to panic. Let me explain what happened quickly without taking too much of your time. I am not a financial advisor, just a random guy on YouTube who has an unboxing channel and have been trading crypto since 2012 and have been trading stocks since 2015 and it is now my full-time job. There's nothing for you to smash, there's nothing for you to like, no courses for you to buy. Just give me a few minutes of your time and I do believe you want to hear and learn about what's going on if you are in the crypto space. All right, and before I say what I have to say, please keep in mind these numbers. Ethereum was $220 last year this same month. That's before running 1900%. Bitcoin was $8,700 in May of last year. That's before running 600% all the way to 65K. And Cardano was just at five cents before running 4,300%. And for example, XLM was six cents before running 1,000%. You may have started stock trading maybe this month, maybe the last two, three months, or maybe crypto trading and you have felt the pain because you probably bought a lot of these stocks and a lot of these crypto way at the peak and really if you think about it for someone who may have gotten into the cryptocurrency space last year it has been an insane run of thousands and thousands of percents and profits and when it comes to stocks if you just started recently uh, it may have been very bad for you. Now, if you recently just started trading, this can be very discouraging, even if you're doing it short term, long term or as a hobby. But I am here to tell you that there is no need to be discouraged. Let's say you bought Bitcoin at 50K. Let's say you bought it at 60K. You should be making love to it at 35K. You, you should be marrying it at 30K because think about the reason that you bought it. And if you believe in it, now it's half the price or is down 30, 40, 50%. You should be averaging down and buying more because now you have the opportunity. Now, if you don't have the cash because you bought it all the way at the peak and you spent all your money there, that's fine too. But that's where risk management comes in. You need to make sure that you always have some money set aside for when these drops happen. I am not saying it doesn't have the possibility of going further down. So far, it seems to have made its way back a little bit along with other cryptocurrencies, but you can't deny that this was a very nice dip. Now, if you're doing this as a, as a day trader and you don't know what you're doing, this can be very costly for you. If you're doing this long term, then just look at the big picture, sit back and relax. You can't keep looking at your account every 15 seconds and expecting to have hundreds of dollars of gains or percents. Now, let's start with what happened in the cryptocurrency space. And this starts with no one other than Elon Musk and China. Now. If you all remember back in April, around April 17th, we had Bitcoin dip from around 62,000 all the way to 51,000. And this was caused by a Chinese miner that flooded. Now this flood caused one third of the global computing power of Bitcoin to shut down. And this is no joke. And it also opened up the world's eyes to see how much power China had over Bitcoin. Then shortly after that, you also remember Elon Musk saying, hey, we're not going to accept Bitcoin for our cars. And then you also all remember Elon Musk saying, hey, we're going to accept Bitcoin for our Tesla vehicles. And just to come and do an about face on it and say, hey, we are no longer going to accept Bitcoin for our vehicles now because of energy consumption concerns. And as I stated in my previous video, I do understand that from Tesla being an energy company, that they would have to shy away from Bitcoin. And not to mention that during the most recent earnings call of Tesla, they did also sell a percentage of their Bitcoin holdings. But finally, the final blow came from China again after they announced two days ago or yesterday that they will no longer be letting their banks or third party online payments channels or anyone to accept Bitcoin as a form of payment or any other cryptocurrencies. So basically, they just banned Bitcoin. Now, this wouldn't be the first time that a country goes after Bitcoin or China itself goes after Bitcoin. So that, along with Elon Musk, which has a huge following on Twitter and online on social media, and both of them coming out with these statements uh, around the same time, has caused a huge panic selling in Bitcoin. And that also caused all of the other altcoins to come down with it. And now you all ask yourself, well, Sky, what do we do? Well, here's my two cents about this. I am a long-term believer 
in crypto. In fact, I have been trading crypto since 2012 and I have been through many ups and downs in the space. And I can tell you that every time we have dips like this, we come back stronger. Now, cryptocurrencies are speculative in nature, just like many other investments. However, you do have to know that cash is still king. And by that, I mean the US dollar. Every transaction globally is backed by the US dollar between countries, between banks, and that is just the main currency out there. Now, I think at some point in our lifetime, crypto will be king. I don't know in what way, shape or form, but digital money is going to be king. But this is still not the case now as we still lack many, many regulations and governments are too slow to catch on to this. And also, uh, I would say stop listening to everyone who tells you buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip, and then it continues dipping further. Try to have some cash set aside for you to actually buy a proper dip. And this means wait a little bit longer. When you see a huge panic selling in the market like this, wait a little bit longer for you to buy an actual proper dip and not just every single dip. Now, I do think there is still a possibility of further pullback at some point, but this is what I do believe that after this pullback is over, we are going to see Bitcoin shoot somewhere over 70K or probably even 100K. Now, I don't know if this will happen in the coming weeks, months, or years, but if you are not a believer in this space and you are not in this for the long haul, then I don't think this is for you, my friend. Now, I can tell you this much. I don't think US banks, institutions, and hedge funds are buying into Bitcoin for no reason. They also know that there is money to be made in this space. Now, with that being said, I hope I was able to provide some clarity into what happened in this crypto space. And with that, I'll leave you guys with a question of the day. What would you like me to cover next or talk about in this channel? Uh, please make sure to leave a comment about that below. And I guess the one that gets more likes or more replies, I don't care for that. Um, I will make a video about. And with that said, let's wrap this video up and I hope you all have a fantastic day.